Blaze Escalation just released, and is probably some of the toughest content to be introduced to the game so far. Fortunately for you, I've got just the build to help make your time significantly easier. Before we dive into the video, I've got a quick announcement to make. I'll be giving away two sets of Elite Hunt Pass codes along with two of my partner flares, giving you a huge jumpstart on your fashion game. So if you want to look as fresh as me, all you have to do is like, comment, and subscribe to be eligible to win. Now as far as the build goes, you'll want to go ahead and grab your first power boost on the talent tree before attempting to solo Escalations 13 through 50. You can grind Escalations 1 through 13 to get this pretty easily, since your first power boost is unlocked at level 5 on your talent tree. You can do 13 through 50 without the power boost, but things get pretty hectic and a lot of behemoths near stages 4 and 5 are prone to one-shotting you. For my weapon, I'll be using the Boreas Chain Blades for its cell slots and innate perk. You can use any Boreas weapon with this build, but I find Chain Blades tend to be a pretty safe choice overall. Reaper's Dance and Serrated Blades is my go-to combo for my mod and special, and are the best in slot for most builds. My armor is a mix and match of various pieces to give me a slight resistance benefit, on top of getting the necessary perks and cell slots I'll need. I use the Embermane Lantern for some additional attack speed, but Drask or even Pangar work well with this build. Use whatever you're the most comfortable with. For my perks, Conditioning gives us some strong stamina regen to keep up our mobility, which is critical for the fight against Torgadoro. Conduit gives us some nice attack speed to play around with, meaning we'll spend less time in combos and meaning we'll be less likely to be caught in animation locks if something dangerous pops up. Iceborne is the bread and butter of this build. Equipped with damage resistance and lifesteal, this is the most important part of the build and you can't skip out on it. It'll keep you sustained for long periods of time, and with Bulwark Tonics and Power Boost 1, very few things will actually one-shot you. Overpower offers a hefty chunk of damage on part breaks, interrupts, and staggers, making it a strong choice to flesh out the build. Rage provides us with a persistent damage increase and pairs nicely with both Iceborne and Discipline. Speaking of Discipline, it'll keep our health at half, keeping Iceborne and Rage activated constantly. And lastly, Tough gives us some additional health and increased healing to play around with, adding another layer of survivability onto the build. As far as amps go, Pact of Vitality is insanely strong if you can pick it up early. It gives you more HP and increased healing like Tough, making it less likely for you to get comboed to death. This build is insanely tanky and can hard carry both solo and group escalations. With just Power Boost 1, I cleared Blaze Escalation and killed Torgadoro in about 20 minutes total. I highly recommend this for someone who's not interested in group content, or for anyone who might have a tough time with their first escalation run. I'll be showing off the end of one of my runs, using only Power Boost 1 and with Pact of Vitality. If you like my content and want to see more of my vids, feel free to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter for more updates. Otherwise, enjoy the run, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Take care, and have a good one.